All right, my first investment, I guess our first investment in real estate is a climate controlled self storage unit. The building's 10,000 square feet. I've got all the numbers and all the details for anybody that ever wants to own a real estate property, right? An income producing cash flowing property like this. I'm gonna show you around, I'm gonna show you some open units. I'm actually gonna walk through the real numbers with you so that if you're wanting to ever do something exactly like this, okay, you know how to do it, all right? So again, uh, we actually office right here. Cody Askins, 8% Nation, uh, Secure Insurance Group, Secure Agent Marketing over in this building. So we have literally these two buildings right here. Okay, and because of that, this came available for sale. Funny story, okay, the, 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 my wife reached out to the owner, said, hey, I heard, I saw this, it's for sale, because we actually rented a storage unit in here. And the uh, owner said, yeah, it just sold. And she's like, well, keep us posted, let us know if it falls through. So it falls through. He reaches out and he says, hey, um, would you like it? I'm like, well, let's go. Well, I want, yeah, I, I do. I want, let's see the numbers. I want, to, I want to get a tour. I want to ask some questions. So we, we, we do a tour. We, we, we ask questions. We see the property, right? We walk through it with the owner. Then as we're leaving, um, he's like, well, take a few days. Think about it. I'm like, no, no, no. I don't want to think about it. I want it. And I want to agree and sign and give you money right now. Okay. There's a lesson in this as a salesperson though, because what happens is he should have been selling me better. However, he was gonna let me wait a couple days. I got it done that day, and here's why that matters, because the next day, he got an all cash offer for $15,000 higher than what we agreed to. However, we agreed and signed, so he couldn't take it. He came back to us and said, hey, you guys are serious, right? Just wanna let you know I just received another offer. So we got the unit, okay? So we actually just bought this. Um, total price, 500, what we negotiated and, and, and paid, $512,500, okay? Again, 10,000 square feet. 40 different units in here, and I'm gonna walk you through all of them. Um, one of the things that they do here is a um, keypad, okay, to actually get in the door, if I can remember the code, okay? And what that does is obviously keeps it more secure. As someone um, rents, they get a code, they get a key to their own unit as well. Okay, we've got a little front office here, um, if we, which we're actually looking at converting this into a storage unit. Um, just because it's, it's, it's spacious. It's similar to like a 10 by 15, 10 by 15 probably office uh, unit anyway. We could probably get 125, 150 bucks a month for this. So I'm like, well, we don't use this. So why don't we actually take off the door and actually convert this into a unit that pays us like 1800 bucks a year, right? Why not? Okay, that's the creativity and the things you can do when you actually take this, something like this over. We also just increase, we're, we're gonna be increasing the rents on this here soon. Also the current owner is actually collecting everything manually. Um, the actual, actually let's jump in here and, and sit down and walk through the numbers real quick and then we'll actually walk around the unit. Um, so one of the things that I wanna spend some time on is um, the owner was manually collecting checks, okay? Every month or every quarter and we even forgot to pay a few months because we just weren't prompted to do so. So we're gonna actually get all of the uh, tenants to be on a um, subscription, uh, a Stripe subscription. Uh, after they sign a lease agreement, um, because one of the things that I that, that we do well with our company is getting people on recurring payments. Right, it's easier, it's simpler for them to pay, and so some of the things, some of the checklist that we have for, for actually walking through the storage facility that I'm going to walk through with you, like hey, move electricity, right? We need some road. Can you see that? All right, some road and yard signs for advertising, right? A main facility sign. It still says Culpeper Record and Archive Storage. It's now going to be CA Climate Control Storage, uh, a connected Stripe account customer agreement, right? Evaluate pricing, current pricing, because he's a little low. He's actually behind what it should be, which is additional revenue, right? Uh, set up, a, get, get QuickBooks set up, get a Google Sheet set up so we can analyze active clients, past clients, storage unit options, open versus occupied, each unit, and then revenue and expenses of the actual total thing, which I'm actually gonna walk through some of the in, in papers in just a second. Um, get all the clients on recurring payment, finalize insurance, a new phone number, um, one page, simple website. He didn't have a website. The phone number was going to his personal cell phone and he was, he was like a gazillionaire, so he just didn't even pay attention. It wasn't even on Google Maps, right? So it's on Google Maps. Dylan behind the camera actually made a, a new logo, CA Climate Controlled Storage, um, which we finally came up with a name for that, which ties into my name, Cody Askins, our CA brand. So that's what we did there. Okay, numbers wise, I'm telling you guys, like I, I don't know everything about owning a storage unit. I've never bought real estate property before. I always wanted to. We had some cash set aside from our, from our companies. Because if you notice, like every wealthy person you ever spend time with, here's what they do. They have a business or businesses. Those businesses spit out cash 
they take that cash and they invest it into real estate. Like everybody I've ever known, so I've been following these people, studying people. I don't know anything about doing this, but I committed first and now we're gonna figure the rest out later. Okay, so we just closed on this literally yesterday. So we're doing a lot of the, um, this was literally the contract for sale um, right here, okay. Um, our LLC, Askins Properties, is the one buying it. We're DBAing it, CA, Climate Controlled Storage. It was originally listed at 575,000. Square feet total is actually 9,405 square feet. Um, we're here in Springfield, Missouri, literally right behind our office and our headquarters. Um, the cool thing is too, here's like a little map and, and an image. Um, you've got all these businesses, but you also, got, you also, you can't see it, but you've got literally a hospital right here. You've got a big, huge fitness facility and, hot, and, 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 and rehab facility right here. And so this is a perfect location for hospitals, doctors, chiropractors, um, vision clinics, like people that haven't went totally paperless with a lot of their files and stuff. This is an excellent place to do it, okay? This also shows exactly who's currently renting um, all the different units, all right? So you can see like 30, I guess 39 total units. Um, it's currently about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So it's almost 50, it's actually a, a little, it's almost 50% occupied. It's probably like 55% unoccupied actually, which means there's a ton of upside potential for us to actually get, we already rent from here. I've got multiple, I've got three companies right here that can rent from here. We've got um, over 100 staff and employees on campus right across the street. A couple of them have already said they want a unit. We're gonna put out signs on the main road. They may not last very long, but we're gonna put those signs out on like a Friday night so that they'll probably make it till Monday and they'll get tens of thousands of eyeballs over the weekend, right? So I'm trying to think outside the box. Google Maps will help. Again, this was not on Google Maps, which is freaking mind blowing to me as we're growing and scaling a company. Um, but what's cool is like the rents have not been raised for 10 years. Over half the units are empty. Um, and a lot of the units are just rented at a discount for almost free for like tenants and friends and stuff, right? So, so, so it's, it's insane. Um, most of the units are, they're all different sizes. Like this is, these are a couple big daddies right here, 20 by 25, those are big units. Those, those you can get a lot more per month from um, than what he probably was. Um, he was, so for example, he was currently getting on like number 24, wherever that is, um, over here at 10 by 20, he was getting like 125 a month, which is a little light by the way, okay? So that, that's some additional revenue where we can pump this up. I'm actually gonna give you real revenue and expense numbers in a second too, you wanna hear those. Um, so these are all the units, different size, a lot of 10 by 20s as you can see, which is great size for units by the way, there's a ton of those, a couple bigger ones. Some of these walls are actually taken down between units, so it's actually more units than it even looks like, okay? So this is real life, um, current P&L, the income um, last year was 20, I'm sorry, $37,140. Really low, could have been much better if you actually ran it. I mean, the, the, the owner actually told me, he said, hey Cody, if I ran this, how I ran um, all of our other companies, we would be, uh, or if I ran our other companies, like we run the storage facility, he's like, I'd be bankrupt. <laughs> he's like, I would, I'd be out of business. Um, expenses, 14, 000, only 14,000, like that's like 1200 bucks a month. $14,594, $22,546 net operating income of an actual profit, a net profit margin of 22.5. Now, we're actually gonna have a uh, mortgage on it, right? So that will, that's about how much our mortgage will be, so that'll eat up the initial profit. However, what I love next is the Performa, which is um, 75, this has got the potential to do 75, 25 a month which is $90,300 a year with an expense of 345. dollars uh, That's even with a management company actually running it too, which is crazy. Um, net operating income of $55,800. I believe once we get this paid off, which we could do over the next several years, there's a potential for this thing to profit sixty dollars a year. And I think we can get the 90.3K uh, over 100. And so I think this has the potential to actually profit um, five grand a month, which is a massive number. Um, but it takes like, you know what I mean? It takes some guts to do it. It takes, it takes, you know, I, and I don't, I don't understand it all. Like I'm new to this. You guys probably know just as much as me. I'm just willing to learn. I'm willing to take some risk. Most people are not willing to take the risk. Um, I've always been willing to take any risk. 
So let's, let's go show you some of the open units so you can take a look around because I can tell you um, from an investment standpoint, I don't know a lot about real estate, but I feel really confident in this investment opportunity right now and the ability for it to, 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 to really grow. This is another space. Um, it, it documents every person's code when they put it in. Um, technically, if we never use this office, this could be another small unit. Like some people need small units. I mean, there's one, one unit in here that's like a six by eight, I think, right? Well, that's probably about six by, or maybe eight by six, uh, eight by eight. I don't know. It's pretty small, right? But there's, a, there's three that are six by eights. Um, I know a couple of them that are open. Um, 14 we already opened. So this will, this gives you an example of like the size. Okay. This is a 10 by 20 space. Okay. 10 feet wide by 20 deep. This is a good size unit. Somebody could put like some shelves here or at the back or some of, some of them actually have shelves. I'll show you ours, which has shelves. Um, but it's a good size unit. It's so simple, like to take down one of these walls and to put a wall back up. That's it, right? I mean, it's just so freaking simple. Like it's literally um, just a sheetrock panel, you know? So that's where actually starting to grow this thing out a little bit is pretty cool. The other unit I was gonna show is the same size. Um, I'll actually show you ours current unit we were already renting from, um, which I think was 24, yeah, 24. Um, it's, we've got three, I think. We've got 24, 26, and 28. So we've got 10 by 20, 10 by 20, 10 by 20. We've got 30. Um, by 60, maybe something like that. We, we got a big, big, big unit. Um, and I think this will work because this is supposed to be the master key. So oh, we've got a really big unit. It's already full. We could technically use an even bigger unit already. So we may actually move all of our stuff, which our team's going to love because <laughs> we've got a ton of stuff, as you can see. Okay, we've got um, literally tons of swag. Um, these crates actually ship a couple massive letters for our conference. Our conference is 8% nation over a, we'll have, we will have 1,007 chairs at our, at our, at our conference this year. These are some massive crates for some letters, tons of boxes, computers. These do not have iMacs in them. Okay. These are old iMac boxes, right? So if you break in and you, you take them, there's nothing in them. Okay. Um, but this is literally three different units that the walls have been taken down over time to give someone more space and we took advantage of this space. I also, cool also too, what's really cool is right here, these, um, these timered lights um, by Paragon. Uh, make sure that you're actually saving money on the electric bill because it's literally, once it gets to zero, it's turning off, right? Which is really cool, okay? So overall, um, this thing has a ton of potential. There's a lot of units, it goes all the way down here, right? It also goes all the, all the way the other side. Um, let me see what else is open i think 22 was open yeah let me do this one right behind us um this is actually a 20 by 25 unit which is really cool i guess i need the key um which i want to show off for a second because it's freaking huge okay um and we may have to, well actually we'll need a bigger unit than what this will even give us because we already have three 10 by 20s and they're not big enough so we'll need to actually go to a um We'll need to go to maybe bigger. I mean, there's one on here that's, there's one on here that's, I think it's towards the end. It's like five of these wide open, okay? So this one's huge. You can, you can hear the echo, nothing in here, okay? This is 20 by 25 right here, right on the corner. So this is a massive unit. He's projecting, so like right now he was renting this just to give you a real life example, he was renting this for, um, I think only like 250 bucks. This is easily 300, 375, maybe $400 a month. I know that sounds crazy. That varies across the country, by the way. Um, I don't know a ton. All I know is when I look at the numbers and when I evaluate this thing, I am loving the thought of investing in storage facilities, storage units. And I can tell you that uh, we got a steal on this. I actually believe people are gonna think I'm nuts. We paid 512. I think we could fill this up in the next 90 days, raise all the rents. It's doing double in revenue, maybe triple in revenue overnight. And then I really believe we could sell this for 800 K to a million bucks, <laughs> literally in the next six to 12 months if I wanted to. Now I may hold on to the asset, but I think there's a ton of upside potential in this. Okay, so 
I wanted to share what we're doing, the fact that I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'm loving what I'm but loving trying and I will take the risk. Okay, so the question is, will you take the risk? If you're interested in storage units and real estate investing, stay tuned. I'll keep adding some videos as we keep buying stuff. We'll be on the lookout for my new plane that I just bought in that video coming soon. Hey, if you love this, okay, I can promise you, actually guarantee it. The next one, maybe better. You've had, you've done over seven figures in six different industries. Yes. Okay. Um, also, while part-time was earning, doing over 10K in premium every month.